Welcome to Norway! Norway, the western part of Scandinavia. It was established in the year 872. The beautiful country is home to... Vikings! An influential black metal scene! A large nationalized oil company! And these arctic foxes. So cute. So while Norway has a long and storied history, let's focus on 2009. No cultural event would compare to the gargantuan, colossal, mammoth, very large in size phenomenon of this train traveling from Oslo to Bergen, televised for seven hours straight. This is Slow TV. Slow TV is... Slow TV is a uh, uh, way of telling stories that is told in full length along an unbroken timeline. This guy works at the Norwegian Broadcasting Company. And my name is Thomas Hellum. I'm working as a project manager, currently working a lot with Real Slow. 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 Slow TV. He helped create a type of television series that shows a subject that is somehow rooted in Norwegian culture or that many people can can relate to. So some examples are marathon long episodes of people. Salmon fishing, 18 hours. It took three hours before we got the first fish. 60 hours of a choir performing 899 hymns from the Book of Norway. We had the National Firewood Night with a fireplace burning for eight hours. You get the idea, but how did Thomas come upon the idea? Uh, this was actually done by accident. Well, so in 2009, Thomas is at lunch with some colleagues, spitballing some ideas. They had discussions over... Topics that uh, take long time and other stories that you could sort of tell as they evolve. After a lot of talk... Uh, one of us just said that why don't we film the whole train journey from, from western part of Norway to eastern part of Norway. It takes seven hours and, uh, and we've, why don't we just film the whole thing and put it up on TV. They went to their bosses and... First they laughed and didn't quite understand what we uh, uh, suggested, but, but uh, after have laughed a little bit... They realized that maybe this was a good idea. So they got to work and planned it out. And on November 27th, 2009, the experiment was released on air. To Thomas's surprise... 1.6 million Norwegian watched part of that program. So much people. And after that, we, we thought, hey, this is a, a way we can tell other stories as well. The next production was going to be even bigger. A five and a half day boat trip going along the Norwegian coast, televised in real time. And we transmitted uh, the world's longest TV documentary, unbroken, no news, no commercials, no nothing, except this journey for five and a half days. And 3.2 million Norwegian followed that journey. More than half of the population of Norway tuned in at some point of the broadcast. But why? What made this show so popular? A part of it, of course, it's that it was something completely different. The, the TV was no longer a TV screen, but sort of a window uh, as they were actually doing the journey, as, as they were on that ship or on that train. After eight years, Thomas and crew are still pushing the envelope. If somebody had told me that uh, eight years ago that, hey, you are going to make a 12-hour TV program, I would have said they were completely crazy. 